Cześć, witajcie w kolejnym nagraniu na kanale Przebudzonko Ścieżki Wolnej Woli. Ja jestem Dariusz i dzisiaj chciałbym Wam zaprezentować materiał, film dokumentalny na temat DMT. Czym jest DMT? Podejrzewam, że wszyscy widzowie to wiedzą, skoro jesteście w ogóle na tym kanale. DMT, czyli molekuła duszy, rzecz produkowana w naszej szyszynce. Substancja, której duży wyrzut odnotowujemy podczas narodzin, podczas śmierci, podczas snu jest podwyższony jej poziom, odpowiadająca za wizję, za łączność z naszym wyższym ja, ze wszechświatem i wyrzut DMT, jej, jego duże stężenie prowadzi po prostu do poszerzania świadomości, odkrywania innych gęstości wymiarów. I właśnie o tym będzie ten film. To będzie kompilacja z wypowiedzi ludzi, którzy właśnie podczas skoku DMT stymulowanego z zewnątrz pod wpływem przyjęcia doświadczali podróży do różnych miejsc, światów, doświadczali psychodeliczne jazdy, ale tu nie chodzi o to, że to są halucynacje czy urojenia. Chodzi o to, że w tych wszystkich informacjach jest spójność. Elementy ich wypowiedzi się ze sobą zazębiają, powtarzają. Można powiedzieć, że jest w tym pewien wzorzec, coś obiektywnego. I o ile czytając o doświadczeniach ludzi podczas śmierci klinicznej, ja wiem, że to jest ciekawe, ojo, jak to wygląda wszystko po śmierci, ten inny świat astralny. Takie doświadczenia właśnie po śmierci klinicznej nie są dla mnie tak fascynujące, ponieważ to są co najwyżej wspomnienia z niskiego świata astralnego, czyli z czegoś niewiele więcej niż to, co mamy tutaj. Niski świat astralny jest troszeczkę takim śmietnikiem zbudowanym z przekonań, z kolektywnego wyobrażenia o pewnych rzeczach. Doświadczanie tam może być zafałszowane pod wpływem różnych programów mentalnych. To nie jest coś, co moglibyśmy nazwać łącznością z jakimś naprawdę wyższym światem, wyższą gęstością. To, o czym tutaj będziemy słuchać, w istocie już czymś takim jest. Obstawiałbym, że to jest łączność z siódmym, ósmym wymiarem, a ściślej z siódmą, ósmą gęstością, bo gęstość jest tutaj trafniejszym pojęciem. Usłyszymy o światach pełnych fraktali, o jedności z tym wszystkim, takim absolutnym połączeniu, gdzie jesteśmy światem, jakieś istoty, z którymi również się stapiamy. Ten materiał jest dla mnie naprawdę bardzo wyjątkowy i lubię do niego wracać, bo chociaż to tylko relacje innych ludzi, to pozwala złapać taką namiastkę być może własnej pamięci, jak to wszystko wygląda. Ja nie mam bezpośrednio takich doświadczeń, ja nie eksperymentuję z żadnymi substancjami, natomiast mam wspomnienie z dzieciństwa, gdy to, nie wiem ile mogłem mieć lat, nie więcej niż 7 myślę, wstałem z łóżka, i poszedłem do, przez przedpokój do drugiego pokoju, żeby zobaczyć się z moją mamą. Drzwi do pokoju były zamknięte, drzwi zawierały szybę, taką hartowaną szybę z nieprzeźroczystą, tak częściowo przeźroczystą, matową, złożoną z takich wielu małych kwadracików, więc jak się patrzyło przez nie, przez tą szybę, to ten świat po drugiej stronie był zdeformowany, taki trochę jak przez kalejdoskop. I ja często przez tą szybę tak patrzyłem, bo to mi się wydawało zabawne. No i tego poranka też tak chwilkę popatrzyłem przez tą szybę, potem otworzyłem drzwi i nie było tam pokoju. Było pusta przestrzeń, jasne światło i, i właśnie kolory, wzory, fraktale, coś podobnie jak ten kalejdoskop patrzenia przez szybę. Właśnie to, to, to zapamiętałem, że patrzyłem przez szybę, a tutaj otwieram drzwi i zamiast pokoju znowu jest coś podobnego. Znowu inna gęstość, inny wymiar, ciężko powiedzieć, nie wiem też co było dalej, pamięć mi się tutaj urwała, więc może jako dziecko miałem 
to było po nocy, więc może wtedy miałem jakiś taki właśnie wyrzut DMT i zobaczyłem takie rzeczy. No nic, ja zapraszam Was do wysłuchania, bo już to mówiłem, ale to jest naprawdę świetny materiał i chcę, aby on był na moim kanale, chcę go utrwalić. Są napisy po polsku, zatem wszystko tutaj jest jasne dla zrozumienia dla każdego. Zatem ja się już wyłączam i zapraszam do seansu. And unless you've taken them, you'll never be able to understand what people who have taken them are talking about. And if you push that window with DMT to the high, high doses, you almost won't be able to explain it to yourself. There's not even like a language to explain this stuff because it's so magical and so advanced beyond our even understanding. But it's almost impossible to describe what the fuck happened because it takes you to a place where it's so goddamn fucking unreal. It, I don't know, you can't explain it. Um, it completely pulverizes your mind. This this is just incredible. This is this is beyond explanation. All you can do is fucking experience it. What I saw I can't put into goddamn words, people. It was I am in, I almost want to cry, it was, that was the most profound, that was the most profound, amazing, beautiful, holy fucking shit, holy fucking shit dude. I was, you know, I was trying to fight it and I was, you know, finally I was just like, you know, the more I fight it, I feel like the more it's going to fuck with me. There's that, that resistance. You're trying to fight it a little bit and you can't. This, I had no control over. I think at the beginning where there's no, you can't get away from it. Mm -hmm. it, it consumes you. Like underwater feeling? Yeah, or? like through the mouth, through the eyes. It eliminates everything that is available to see. And tells you this is what we're gonna let you see. All of the things, and say you're sitting in your room, everything disassembles itself. Like all the screws come out, and you see everything just moving, disassembling itself. Yo, buddy. Yo, I went in when I was in the couch. Yep. It was like everything split. Fucking like in eight dimensions. These things that you're seeing in your room, they start to disassemble themselves and then it, it just like came apart and separated into like like a cake sort of like like layers if you've played video games you probably know what i'm talking about there's screen tearing where the game seems to rip apart a little bit for a split second it was like that but my entire vision just seemed to spread when i look through i look at my friend's face his face i can see his neurons i can see all those energy circles around his eyes, his forehead, his, his, his ears. My friend, looking at my friend, you can see what looks like light traveling almost like in a jellyfish kind of way. This Celtic henna pattern grew like, like out of this eyeball and like went around her face and then went up and then into her eyes. When I look at my hands, it looks like the textures are underneath my hand and like under my skin. You, everything feels is melting. It's, 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 it's melting. Everything was, my fingers were melting. My whole body felt wet and it just, it was all vibrant. I look down and I see this weird, like this weird energy reaching up at me and I'm just like, what the fuck? I feel like my whole body just relaxed. At one point I almost forgot breathing. I, I was, 
I was just sitting there amazed. I forgot to breathe, and my friends were like, breathe, breathe. I started seeing the patterns again, but they were like, fucking going so fast. I was like a fucking black hole, and I just kept going in. And right now, with the way my body's going, and the way I'm talking, I don't have any control over it. I traveled through this portal into like a tunnel, I guess. And I was getting into a funnel, and I could feel that I was coming from something much bigger. Uh, the funnel was going like this. This tunnel, which which looked like pieces of of polygons. It's almost like, it's almost like say if I were to have that, like it went like that, like I was like a hole, and it was just like. Vroom. I just remember losing all perception of reality, and I was going inside this tunnel with, and like it was this tunnel that kind of did this, and I was going inside it, and uh, on the tunnel walls, it was like these geometric patterns that um. It is. It was like an undescribable colors, maybe close to an orangey yellow type, but they're like little geometric patterns that were constantly changing, reforming, and then putting themselves back together. And I was going through, and it was fucking crazy. Everything just was like red, a reddy orange color, and like in the middle, like in the distance, was a really, really, really bright light. And you see this bright light, this bright, bright, bright light. And then I could see it like coming towards me and as it was coming towards me, I all I could hear was like a, um, like an aeroplane taking off kind of sound. Like a uh... We'll hear this really intense just like whee! Like just really like almost like a siren. And I got the whole Also very loud it was like <sighs> as if the sound slowed down and i heard the zzzz. and i heard um like a zzzz. and it was getting louder and louder until it kind of just and then this is just like boom boom just like you're leaping into this fucking round my body was gone and i was just Perception. I was like, I didn't, I know I didn't have a body. Like I could look, look. I would, could like, yeah, go look down. If you could fucking say look, and there'd be nothing there. It was just weird. Like I had, like your eyes can only see to the front sort of thing, but it was like you can see everything and everywhere in this place. And I found myself immediately. All of a sudden, you just there. And then you black out. For like that second and then anything you see after it's just crazy it's just nothing familiar then i was like in this black space and then when i when i that was me closing my eyes and then i just closed my eyes and when i was dead and i was pretty much like dead it's like two things it's like so dark so dark but it's so bright and there's light that was just me. I was just seeing all these weird colors in me. You said that? I was just in a dark space and there was just all these colors in front of me and around me. And everything went black and I was in front of this pattern. This pattern, it came out of nowhere. It was, it was like a mixture of like a red and orange and it was like glowing. And then this like, right when that stopped, this like, Geomet all these flowing geometrical impossible patterns that this is just fucking everywhere it's fucking there's nowhere looking around it's fucking everywhere it is multi <laughs> like these patterns going on and they're just fucking racing right uh they were flowing and so quick into my eyelids and like through my body and like pulsating you're seeing geometric patterns shapes that you can't even describe they're going in motions and directions and they're doing formations that you never thought were possible you've never seen the, the things you think you see you you think you saw something but at the moment you look you, you just change something else i looked around and every time i would look everything just kind of exploded into geometric patterns. Really vibrant explosion of, of color and, and patterns and it just it kept it kept exploding and exploding exploding and tiny as this this detail, this little thing just that the beauty that those things just, 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 just so overwhelming. Just show that realm 
in such perfect detail. I can see symbols and, and mathematics and um, geometry and everything was, everything was perfect, coded. It was coding, it was mathematics. Mathematics or uh, some sort of simulation. Information as well, like numbers and stuff running down. The, the numbers, the numbers, I swear it's numbers, two, one, nine. I can't explain, I can't, I, I can't explain, but I would do anything, I would sell anything to if I can bring that back and show you guys what I'm talking about. It was like yeah. melting, I was like going in the world, like everything. Damn, was, that's cool. I was being yeah. everything. Yeah. Whoa! You just say something else, man. It's completely... You can't relate it. The feeling. <sighs> a feeling of endlessness, like infinity. Like I, I, every time I just feel like I'm infinite. It's like you just know things. Like I don't know how to explain it really, but like you just know things. Everything meant something. I had all the knowledge of the universe in my hand. The sensory awareness is just incredible. Mm -hmm. It was everything, like just think of all the knowledge, all the knowledge of the universe, I mean even maybe knowledge from other people. Just everything that has ever happened to anything ever in the history of time and beyond time and in the future, all that ever was or will be coming from one mind that in effect is everything. And it's just this feeling this feeling it feels like nothing you could ever imagine you have to just experience it you cannot imagine it it's a feeling of everything like everything and you feel it and it's just so peaceful you feel so peaceful and and so happy and, and I don't know it just feels like home like it just feels so comfortable. I felt like I was, I felt like, oh, I'm gonna miss this place. Like, I felt, it was like where I was was at home. It was so weird. The whole thing it just feels like a massive fucking deja vu. It's really weird. There was one really remarkable feeling that I felt during the trip was this overwhelming sense of familiarity. Like I had been here before, this was something I had witnessed at some point. And that feeling has stuck with me for a very long time. And it's probably the reason why I still think about the experience every single day, even eight months later. And a feeling of, I have been here before. I have done this before. Everything's gonna be okay because I have experienced this before. And that was my first time taking DMTs. And that once you get there, it, it's like, I know I've been here before, you know? It's like, once you get there, it's like, motherfucker, I'm back here again? I said, well, how the fuck did I fucking forget this shit? You know what I mean? And then you're like, oh my god, I can't fucking believe this. And it starts showing you everything that it shows you. It's like, I can't believe it. Again, here I am again. And I, I, I forgot all this shit, and I'm here again, and I'm remembering it again. And it's like the, infin the infiniteness of it. There was some form of a being that didn't have a body that you would call human. It had a body that you would call fractal. When they appear, it's not like they just pop out of nowhere. They literally start to fade in and have something to do with the, the, the overall overlay of what you're seeing, you know? It was just a, it was just an intelligence. There was, there was no, there was no animals or creatures or anything like that. There was an intelligence. There's something that communicated, absolutely communicated. I've seen it now. I don't need to see. Oh my God, Dom. You just, just, there's no flaw on, 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 on them. You know, if you, if you picture, there's no flaw. There's no, there's no, it's everything's perfection, symmetry. That the being was just this the most gorgeous model I've ever seen in my life. It, it's almost like it had an all-seeing eye, but it only had it only had. I don't want to say even call it an eye, dude. Like you could look into it forever. Like it was, 
It was insane. It was made of some form of geometry that is impossible for me to explain. But it was folding itself into itself and out of itself. It was folding. It was like a continually moving fold. These dancing entities that were kind of just dancing around, all happy, and they were screaming and having a good time. And then they all started dancing in a fucking one thing. And uh, it was like, what? What the fuck? And that thing started getting closer and closer. So I watched these beings do their dance and tried to make sense of it as well as I could. I was constantly trying to just think, like, you know, I was trying to completely just investigate the shit out of it. Just, what is this? What's going on? Is this real? Where am I? That kind of stuff. And finally, it just kind of got a hold of me and was just like, stop. Embrace it. I remember it looking directly at me and waving his finger at me when I tried to look around. Like, start to focus in on that. And in the dimension that I was in, it would be like, pull me and be like, no. Like, pay attention here, I'm trying to show you. They try to calm you down. I, I got a feeling like they were like, don't look around, you know? And they were like, fucking calm down, you fuck. It wasn't like they weren't, they were they just like, they were just calm down. Like, it's almost like things were telling me to calm the fuck down. Cause like, they could like, it's like they knew I was tripping balls, like. And it didn't even really talk to me. It didn't even speak, actually. Like, it was just, like, almost telekinetically like say anything it wanted to say like into my dome and I, I could fucking relate to it and I understood it but it, like it wasn't even a language. The beam wasn't speaking English like it wasn't speaking in words it was just speaking in a way that I was familiar with but I've never ran into it on earth before. It's figures, it's intelligence just showing you, just showing you. She was showing me this object and, and my 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 mind was focused on the object pretty much and it kind of zoomed into that a bit and then and then this this cage with all these toys or something they were they were they were alive though it's like they wanted to show me the freakiest of craziest the fucking intricatest like things they were trying to show me all these things like do you remember this do you remember that it was like this is your life you know it got too overwhelming at one point. They always seem to want to be just like give you knowledge. Yeah. I don't know why. The teachers. Yeah, they were just trying to like impart knowledge. Like they broke down like space, like showing me like cubes. Right. Like, tiny cube, big cube, big cube, big cube. Big Geometric cube, style. Infinity. It was moving, the dimension around it was moving with its arms. Like this. And in the middle of this movement, there were shapes appearing that were like symbolic shapes of all manner of mind blowing descriptions. But everything was moving at lightning speed and it was falling away, and as it fell away, it would fall away into a three dimensional room. And what was being demonstrated to me was that anything could be imagined by this being. So much so that it almost defied belief as a human being. It, it's the tired old expression of trying to describe a color to a blind man. There's no way that I can tell you what I saw. I saw this weird looking shape similar to like a cube. And it started to break itself apart and in the sixth. And then that broke itself apart and it completely just broke itself apart and like it twisted around, broke, 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 went back together and you know, all this weird shit. And then it was like, <laughs> boxy, like these boxies. I love psychedelics, man. Yep. These boxies that were like, it's like split all. I literally, they were, had a cell or something and it was dividing. I saw like, I remember one thing distinctively, it was fucking this spherical cube that was like, it would like, it was a fucking cube and it was spinning and then slowly it would turn into a fucking ball and then it would change shapes and shit. It's like you're in this box <clears throat> and then look at this entire world inside this box. It makes no fucking sense to you whatsoever. And it was made out of mechanical cogs and wheels and interlocking pieces of impossible geometry, like geometry that doesn't make sense. 
okay, there's no way I can describe these objects. Um, they're like it was like parts of machinery kind of things. They were not three dimensional. When I imagine them in my head, I see them in like I see them how I would see them here. But that is not how they looked. That is not how they looked when I was there. Like I, I do remember looking at them, thinking, "What the fuck? What the fuck?" And like when I tried to work them out, that was it. It just went, and then some for something else would be there, like doing a. T -t 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 and those shapes, as they came with the sound, it was like boom, 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 like that. And every time there was a pulse, these things folded out into a new shape until they became so complex that I couldn't actually take perceiving it anymore. I, my, I felt like the amount of information in my head almost just split. I have to instantly look down on the ground. I can't, I can't even, I can't even process the information. I couldn't. I was trying to comprehend everything that was happening and there was too much happening to comprehend and then i'd look at that and be like right so like even the shape the shape of it i was like that goes to that but like that doesn't like make and then it go and i believe that doesn't make sense you don't know what to do with it it's fucking crazy insane insane it's insane and then this realm took me and folded me inside itself and express me through itself and then push me out and I came back out of it and I saw myself separate from the being and then every time I thought yep yeah, that's the being and this is me it was going really and it was pulling me back in again and I couldn't tell the difference between me and the mind of this higher power in this black space everything it started to get dark it started to get real dark something hap was happening in there Something was getting dark, it was getting fucking, like, scary, like, not nice. But I, I, I kept saying it was beautiful anyway. Even though it was fucking frightening and scary, I kept saying thank you and it's beautiful anyway, even though it was taking a turn towards the hideous or real scary, dark, unpleasant space, for just for, just for like, a brief moment. And the reason it is so powerful is because it seems so real. It seems realer than reality, and that's what's scary about it. This time, it really did freak me out. It like it breaks down your sense of reality, and it it can be scary. It scared me. Like that experience really scared me. It. I don't know if I'd want to do that again. Um, never been in that state. I've never been such a panic i've never panicked so much in my life i never i've never been scared so much so scared in my life that was scary very scary very beautiful but very scary so i don't want to say it's bad but like it fucking scared the shit out of me like i was fucking out of it i'm actually almost a little like scared to use it again because it's i don't know it's just, it's, this is something that I feel you should just not use a lot. I felt like I definitely died. Uh, but I was okay with it. I just kind of surrendered. You basically get to experience what dying really, really is. I literally felt like I just died. I thought to myself, am I, what if I'm dying? What if I die? Am I dying? I felt like I was dying. And I'm sure throughout my whole experience, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I fucking died, like, twice. Like, I don't know. How I got life again after that is unreal. Because I was dead. I was fucking dead. Wow. And it's so scary. And then I kept trying to tell myself, this is because I've taken a drug. This is because I've taken a drug. Because I wanted to remind myself that, you know, I'm not dead, this is because I, I've taken a drug, like, I will be back here soon. And every time I thought something, I couldn't cling on to that thought. That thought stayed, like, way back there. And then, it becomes crystal clear. Absolutely, emphatically crystal clear. So, on the basis of that, I say I went through. I didn't feel I was going through anything. It was just massive confusion, crackling, and f shapes and things, and then poof! You're there, and then I'm like this. What? Oh, 
I broke through and I experienced feelings that are indescribable. I was, I was then in a place where, where fear didn't exist. But the intensity of it is fucking insane. I mean, so if that wasn't a goddamn breakthrough, what the fuck is breaking through? If that's not breaking through, what the fuck is? You know, really, it's how fucking intense it was. It's like, good fucking God. And this is probably the worst bit. This is the worst bit. This is like the most thing I remember about the whole trip is when I burst through something, everything just went silent. And I mean, like, not silent as in silent. I mean fucking silent. I mean, you would not hear this silence anywhere on this earth. There was no wind, like nothing, I mean, it, like just dead. And I was in nothing, I was like in nothing. It wasn't even, I couldn't even call it darkness. I can't say I was like in like a place of darkness. It was nothing, it was literally nothing. And it was like, this lasted for like, this felt like it was going on forever, forever. And I literally, I just like was, like I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead, but I, like, I couldn't think, I didn't like think I was dead, it was like I was aware that I was dead and I couldn't even think or anything, I was just there. There was no feelings, there was no bliss, no, there, there was no negative feelings, no positive feelings, it just was. Imagine being in a place where there's no time where there's, there's no feelings, there's no emotion, there's no sound, there's just the feeling of, of just being, which wasn't even a feeling, it was a knowing of just being, just being there. It was unbelievable. That was fucked up, man. No, it wasn't fucked up. Oh. I've never felt anything like that in my life. I didn't even think it was possible. insane fucking insane and then when i started like becoming more conscious i started telling everyone you guys you guys you guys wow wow it seems like that's all the only thing that just keeps going through your head is just wow wow like this is just so fucking amazing like, how is this even possible? That's wow. That was wow. Wow factor. And I'm going to be going wow. Probably every day, every single day when I think about that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go wow. Wow, that was... <clears throat> that was something else. That this was something that I've never experienced ever before. This is far greater than anything I have ever experienced in my life. And I feel like it was one of the very, very, very best experiences of my entire life. One of the most profound thing I've ever experienced in my life. When you fucking finally come out of this shit, you're so goddamn fucking happy to be alive. It's like, all you can do is be grateful. All you can do is be grateful for it. It is completely, it was completely humbling. It was literally like being a caveman at the side of a NASA space station. When you come out, when you come back to the real world, you're like, holy fuck. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, the textures were crazy. People. <laughs> 
forget about anything you know about this life. Oh. My God. Okay. I opened my eyes. And I couldn't say a word. For at least a good 30 seconds. I couldn't talk or anything. I just felt... Absolutely incredible. When you came back, you said, then, I've forgotten it. I've forgotten it. I did do. I did do. Instantly, I forgot it. I forgot it. I was, I was in awe. But then it came back. Mm -hmm. there's, there's only certain bits I can remember of this. I mean, there's so much. I was... Oh, well, I mean, I was only there for about 10 minutes, but I wasn't there for 10 minutes. I know I was there for so much longer. At the end of it, I can never completely remember what the fuck just happened. Like, as soon as it's over, you're just like, wait, what was so crazy about that? Oh, what was I going to tell everybody? I was losing it. And I was like, wait, what, what did I come here to tell my friends? What was the importance of life? Why are we here? I knew it so clearly. I could not remember for the life of me. Like, like that was not supposed to come back to me. Like, it was, like, supposed to be given to me to understand in that moment, in that moment alone. And why do you forget? Why the fuck do you forget? Why can't you remember so you never go back? I mean, it's just, like, crazy. And then I lost all that knowledge that I had. Like, I, it was there, and then it was just, like, gone. When I came back, I was just, like, when I came in here, when I was in this world, I was like, what the fuck, kind of thing. And then I started remembering stuff about this world, and I was like, oh yeah, this is where I'm from. And there was like maybe 20, 30 seconds where I was here in this world, and I understood everything. I knew, I knew why we were here, I knew how we were here, I knew everything. And then it just went like that. As soon as I thought about it and was like, oh yeah, it just went. And I was like, for fuck's sake. I was really, really surprised because I was like, how long was that? And then the person I was with said, um, seven minutes or five minutes or something. And I was like, what? I felt like I was there for longer. <laughs> I felt like I was there for years. It only lasts for, you know, two minutes, but you remember it forever. And uh, that only lasted for a couple minutes, but it seemed like an eternity feels like forever. Literally felt like forever. I was there forever. I was there forever. I was just there.